Super undefeated. You know, they're talking Floyd Mayweather has interest in Amir Khan facing uh, Adrian Broner on his undercard. What do you think of that? Um, Amir Khan versus Adrian Broner. It's an interesting fight. It depends on. Um, but uh, if, 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 if Amir Khan's chin shows, I mean, uh, stay, stays up, then you know, I think that I think that it could be a very difficult fight for uh, for Broner, especially if he stands flat-footed in, in, in recent fights that he showed. You know, because Broner, Broner is a he's a boxer, but he's a power puncher boxer. So what he does is he likes to stand flat-footed to get that big shot. I don't think Amir Khan's gonna stand there and uh, stand there and take those uh, take those shots. I think if I think his speed's gonna be a little bit. I think Speed's gonna be out of, out of the world for, for Adrian Broner. I think that that's not the fight that Adrian Broner necessarily wants to take right now. You want to take, you want to go get a Zab Judah or someone like that and, and work your way up. But I think that uh, I think Amir Khan's gonna be a little bit too much. There's gonna be a lot of people in here. I like can say Adrian Broner is gonna make it flat out because you know Adrian Broner, Floyd, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I stand, I stand you know, on my own in that sense to say. You know, that's, that's a difficult fight, especially for your first fight back. For your first fight back after a, after a devastating loss, you don't you don't want to be you don't you don't want to take two consecutive losses. So I think that I think that you know Al Heyman Al Heyman has the right idea. I don't think that Heyman's gonna I don't think Heyman's gonna let that fight go down. What about uh, the way Khan he had been dropped by Julio Diaz? Um, could Broner hurt him? Drop him? Um, it depends if, if Broner's become a, 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 a full 147. If he's become a full 147, because when Broner walks around at 65, he's a he's a, he's a, he's a out of shape 65. Whereas with you have your other fighters like Maidana who, or Sergio Martinez, fighters like that who walk around at 65, 70, but they're ripped 65, 70, which is bigger, and they drain themselves down to get there, so they automatically carry their punching power. Whereas with Adrian Broner, he's naturally a 140, 135. Broner, like, what do you think is going through his head following the loss to McDonald? Where do you think he's at mentally? Like, I, I, I think mentally, I think, I think this fight with Floyd is gonna weigh on him a little bit off the simple fact that if uh, if Floyd demolishes Marcos Maidana, if, if he beats him like the world saying he should and make it look like Arturo Gotti, Diego Corrales times two or make him look completely bad, then what that's going to do is that's going to that's gonna hurt Adrian Warner a lot more in the sense that people are going to say, oh, well, he was never nothing compared to Floyd. How dare he even compare himself to Cedric, Cedric? And I think that's going to be the same case if he fights Amir Khan and loses to Amir Khan. I think that Floyd fighting them is going to hurt Adrian Broner more than it's going to help him in essence.